I work on the hardware side of computer science, with specifically what are called accelerators. Uh, these are components that are designed specifically not to execute everything moderately well, but instead execute a set of applications extremely quickly. Graphs are how computers are able to relate to relationships between two different things. Uh, and so the work that I do and the ideas that I develop and the ideas that I implement help improve social media, uh, finance, logistics, and any other sort of application where you're dealing with the relationships between two different things. So in social media, you see that there are uh, millions or even billions of people that are connected in this massive network or in this social network. And if a computer is able to understand the relationships that people have, whether it's the specific friendships, they're into the same groups, they go to the same events, they're able to better uh, predict and analyze who they might want to be friends with in the future. Another example is in the stock market, where we see there's a bunch of different companies out there where you can buy and sell stocks, and there are correlations between all of these stocks. Uh, you can use a graph or graph applications to figure out which stocks will rise and fall together, and that allows traders to uh, better predict where future prices are going to be and overall make more money. It's very challenging for computers to be able to handle this amount of data so quickly. A lot of times the way the computers work, they're able to get the performance benefits whenever they're able to take pieces of data and group them together in specific ways. That's not really possible in the same way with social media and with graph applications. We have to think in different ways in how we organize the data and how we compute the data in order to make sure that these computers are operating as fast as they possibly can. We're at this turning point where we're no longer able to depend on the same things to get us faster and more efficient computing. That's what the hardware design elements of computer science is demanding from researchers right now, is creative solutions to these problems, solutions that have never been thought of before. And that element of creativity is what makes this research really fun.